Hello YouTubers. This is part two of the Craftsman Yard Tractor uh, Recondition Project. I took the engine off and the two plates to hold the battery and the battery. And I'm working on stripping down to the frame. Getting everything off the frame so I can repaint that first. It's not as bad as it was when I first got this running. It was all over the place and very filthy. And it was even down in there. There's like even moss or dead grass in there or something. I think there's mice living in this once upon a time. Um, I got the engine off and put on the my little handy dandy old mower deck slash engine uh, mower deck carrier. Uh, slash engine stand. Last time I, or first time I had the engine off was to eat, get better access to the steering bushing so I could replace that, and that's doing pretty well so far. I don't think it's really oveling out on me yet. better not be I wanted it to last a couple of years or however long before I have to replace it again because it's not an easy job but I have made it easier since I replaced the uh, um, the pin with a cotter pin before it was just one that, that gets pressed in besides I kind of broke it trying to get it out um, so I guess all the wiring has to come off. I have to take the height adjustment out. It's not going to be very easy to get all of this off. So I'm going to start next with getting the fenders off. But for now I'm taking a break. I'm actually kind of waiting for my lunch to get done. It's in the microwave so. Well, I stripped it down pretty good. I had penetrating oil on the uh, on the step right there, that side that side step. I had to put it on that last bolt there. These are the kind of bolts they they're the holes in the frame are threaded, so they go right through them, which is nice when you don't want to use two wrenches. But it's pretty bad if one of them breaks. And then you gotta drill out the hole and do do a different setup. Um, but yeah, I'm getting there. This is almost in complete pieces down to the frame. I just gotta get that side panel, the uh, floorboard, footboard, shifter plate, and the transmission has to be dropped out along with the front axle and the two hood brackets. Although I could probably keep them on, but I kind of want to do a full repaint so that it's so that any metal underneath isn't getting rusted out too. So I'm doing. I'm, oh yeah, the steering has to come out too, and the clutch pedal. Pardon the the rude screeching Blue Jays over there, and the dog. I think I just have to undo the pitman arm and then I can take the whole steering out. Luckily I already had that apart before so it'll come out easy. Transmission... I have some plans for that. I'm probably going to drill a... I'm going to measure this. Sorry, I'm not paying attention to the camera. Measure that distance and then drill another hole behind it so that these wheels can be moved back because this wheel here the way that big deck is set up it may it may not be wide but it's still big um, and so when the deck gets gets raised up all the way this tire rubs against it and I don't like that and I'm pretty sure there's mm, pretty much plenty of space for that I don't know Maybe I should swap out the pulleys or something. And there's a smaller pulley in that. It'll make this thing go faster, but it'll be able to fit the belt size a little better when I 
pull the tranny back. I don't know. Um, well, as you can see, I'm kind of losing daylight here. It's pretty much gone by now. It's quitting time for today. But I'm going to show you how far I got in real quick before it gets too dark to even pick the tools up and put them away. The uh, off-road tractor here is going to become, I guess, a collect-all. Uh, it's not supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm not really worried about anything staying dry. I got the other foot uh, board off. It was a really stubborn bolt somewhere in here. Um, I don't know, it was incredibly stubborn. I was afraid it was going to snap off. Luckily it didn't. So I guess what's left to do, I got the steering off. Um, had to get the rest of these bolts off. Not sure what, what, what that's all about right there, but I guess I'm going to cut that off or something. Uh, I guess there's the bolts, I think, for the plates that hold the axle. Um, that piece has to come off. Uh, the, the whole clutch assembly has to come apart. Probably the last thing to come out will be the axle and the transmission. Let's see. Um, I still didn't get the side plate off. I'm going to wait on that on that nut until I can get this L, L bracket off that holds the lower deck lever. Um, so I guess I can, that's, that's it for today's video. Later.